Well, hello folks. Uh, welcome back to Tennis Elbow Manager uh, 2. Um, this is episode 124, I think. I am the Custom Prophet. And yeah, we are back in the Australian Open tournament that we have won before um as the 46th ranked player in the world that's if you haven't watched this series for a little while you might be shocked how far we've dropped but last season oh my it was not good uh so we're trying to um get back up uh to where we were before uh so we've just won our first round match in the previous episode uh in australia comfortable victory over bonthio uh, and now we're taking that forward and we're playing uh, i thought it was mcdonald it's mcdonald which is a an even better name that's uh, a name that i've never heard exist it's 2024 not 2023 2023 is the year we want to forget but this guy doesn't look amazing he looks a solid solid player um probably about where his ranking suggests he should be we'll be focusing i think on the forehand um his service isn't all that strong either so we'll probably try and put pressure on his serve as well uh, and his mental and physical stats have a lot to be desired so uh yeah let's see how this goes i think it would be nice if we could uh, um get past this lad and then potentially we might go up against uh, zgravsku who i think would be a I, i'd like to play him actually I, well, i'd like to play gallo as well but i, I think i'd more prefer to play this Belarusian because we've got a bone to pick with him. I think we are better than him. Okay, let's get into it. Let's see how we get on against uh, old MacDonald. Right then, let's just pause this a second. Again, we'll go, we'll, as I said, we're going to put pressure him a little bit and probably not uh, on his, uh, in, during the rally, we'll stay sort of equidistant there but probably on the serve because he didn't look all that strong off the serve. So let's uh, let's focus that on. Uh, I think we said his forehand was stronger. So we'll focus on the backhand, I think. I can't bloody remember. It's about five seconds ago when I said that. So first serve, so second serve return. Oh, we can't just pressure... <sighs> Yeah, we, 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 I suppose we can. We can pressure both of them, but yeah, I don't like that. And the other thing, uh, I think when we go to the volleyer, volleyers, we were going to go to down the line. I think down the line is easier. Um, I think the passing just puts us in a uh, cross-court pass shot. is It doesn't work very well. Um, I, I always find cross-court shots, as a, as a badminton player, cross-court shots are always a big big risk to play uh, so we'll, we'll i think down the line it means you've got more likely to get the return back if it's cross court if he if they get to it actually getting the return back is pretty much uh impossible because they just you know you're not there uh right then let's let's go let's do this thing can we beat old mcdonald and his farm well it's two all and uh, both it's a break point on Sean a serve, but both games we have been putting a lot of pressure on Mr. McDonald and just haven't managed to take it. This is the first one where he's actually put any pressure on us and he's putting a heck of a lot of pressure on. And he's got the winner. And uh, he has uh, he's taken the first break, which is a little bit of a surprise to me. That's interesting. Again, in the last game, the previous game, we were 40 love up. Uh, we've hardly dropped a point on our serve apart from when he, when he wins the game so no, it's no, no, uh, 30 40 another break point uh, so it's not been the best first set here I expected better i have to say that's better that's better that is much better surely just calm it but it's an advantage I think we'll have to have a look at the um, at the uh, at the um, the stats half half time stats the uh, end of set stats to try and put this right. So it is a 30 40 or 40 30 up set point. And we have got a juice here. So Maybe the pressure on his serve, I don't know. Maybe we're putting too many returns out. Maybe we're trying to be too aggressive on it. I don't know. Or maybe we're just... 
missing too many. Let's be a little less attacking. That looked like he's out miles away. Oh, there you go. He's got he's got a decent shot on him. So let's have a look through this. Maybe there's something here that will tell us what's going on. So he's winning a lot of points on his first serve and his second serve. I mean, there's nothing in it. It's it's interesting. We've gone we've gone close. I don't. I think we've been unlucky in that first set. I'll be perfectly honest. I think we've been unlucky. Total points won. There's no difference. I think we could dead easily win this second set. So I'm not going to change anything. And finally, we have a break point on his serve uh, advantage. And he's gone wide. We have a second serve where we are going aggressive at this and then hopefully trying to take the win. He's got, he is really good at finding those, those corners in the court, it seems. Just ridiculously accurate. But another break point. I think it would be important to get this second set. Yeah, Shawnee's uh, making the most of that. It's that backhand just winner. He's absolutely killing us. So let's, shall we just swap and we'll just try and aim on his forehand a little bit less or maybe actually focusing on one of them is making it more difficult i don't know oh he won that <laughs> I screwed that up well we've just lost three points on the trot and he's got a break point himself yeah i'm a little worried about this Do we want to be putting a little bit more pressure on him? Go a little bit closer. Oh, that's a wolf. That's absolutely terrible. This this seems to be the problem. He is missing so many more shots. There we go. Brilliantly done. We've got a couple of break points here. It's amazing how many times we go 30 up on his 30 love up on his serve and then just give it away from there. We just never get that that next point, but we have in this game. Ooh, is that out? That's gotta be out. Oh no. Oh, after all that, he got it back and that just that terrible shot into the net it's long just want a mistake from him just take that break and just level it up one all oh surely you another chance here it's three two up He's had a much, much more chances this set, and all of them into the net. You. Off the serve. Well, it's another opportunity. It's 4 3 in the second set, Shawnee, another break point. But he's put so many into the net. And he's gone wide. He's hardly done that at all. So 5 3. He's got to hold on to his serve here. And it's 40-30. It's been a tighter game, but he's got a chance here to level it up. And he's gone long. And it's 6-3 uh, in the second set. Very, very good. First set percentage looks excellent. Won a few more points than him this time around. And just still not winning those longer rallies. Uh, I think we're missing too many uh, simple chances, is, is my take on it all. Winning a lot more... Uh, yeah, unforced errors. So he's hitting a bunch of unforced errors in that set, which he I don't think he did in the first set. Let's just have a look. 
It was pretty even, actually, in the first set. Um, not as many winners, I think. We've, we have we did him with the winners. Okay, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen here. Two, one set all. Let's get into the third set. Well, 15.40 on Mac Donald's serve. Chance for a really early break and a missed first serve gives him a real hope here. Just get the return into play. I mean, this is interesting. Sean, he's been working hugely on his return and he just doesn't look that good, but he's got that break of serve early on. That's important. Well, he followed the, the breaker serve up with a, a love 40, with a 40 love uh, win on his own serve. And uh, we sit here at 3-1 and Shawnee has a love 40 lead on the McDonald serve. He's just along with that one. He's 4-1 up yeah, in yeah, this one. third set now. So Shawnee's starting to, to grip, uh, take a grip on the set. Yeah, I think McDonald's is struggling a little bit more um, with, with what Shawnee's doing. He's, Shawnee's 40 love up here. 5 2 up in this set. Looks a lot more confident in, in the rallies. Mixing it up a little bit. Nicely done. Cross court. Very good. And there we go. Absolutely smashed it. 6-2 in the That's third set. Right. And he's one set away from the third round. Um, really poor first a number of first services in, actually, in that one. But not many points um, at all in that set. He was, uh, he was dominant. Seven out of seven points won on his first serve. Pretty good. And pretty much all of them in the second serve. Very, very good on his own serve. Uh, right, I don't think we need to change anything. Straight into the set number four. And he looks like he might be a broken man. It is love 40 down in set four. Um, and uh, Shawnee, he's revving his engine. That was, that was nicely done. Um, I mean, the, the, the net cord actually didn't help Shawnee there. It just set it up nicely for the lad and he just went cross court. So it's 15-40. He's gone wide with that. Good use of the slice yeah, backhand, and uh, Shawnee breaks in the first game of the of the, uh, of the set. Nicely done, sir. Nicely done. Here we go. It's uh, fifteen forty in the third game. Two love up to Shawnee. That was nicely done. Sent him the wrong way. Okay, I think for, for, thought for all the world he was going to go the other side, but he didn't. He went the same way Shawnee was running away from. I think that was very sensible tennis. Oh, there we go. Down the line. This is the Shawnee we know and love. Three love. So it's 5-1 up in the fourth set. Shawnee is 30-40 up on McDonald's serve. And uh, looking pretty good. Uh, we're back to uh, back to juice, but I think this is a just a a little reprieve for the lad. I don't see him coming out of this. Another chance on his serve. Can he? Can he do it? Yeah, really a good performance. So after a tough first set, uh, he just wore McDonald down. So finished up. 4-6, 6-3, 6-2, And uh, all in all, Shawnee was doing quite well. Long rallies, still struggling a little bit. Uh, yeah, he saved four set points, which is interesting. Um, I think that was in the first set, though. Well, it definitely was in the first set. First serve percentage, I think that was the power of serve. That, that The power of this lad's first serve was not strong enough. And Shawnee has got a very, very strong first serve. So that's good. Return points won. In the, in the end, it was 47%, which was pretty damn good as well. So, um, And 75% of breaks of, um, are divided by games. With, but that's an interesting stat. Um, I think I'd still like to see some more aces. First serve percentage, 60% isn't bad. I think 
considering how hard he's hitting them. Really fast serve, 40 kilometers, uh, no, th just over 30 kilometers per hour faster than his opponent. <laughs> so that's fun um, for his fastest serve. And uh, yeah, that's, that's tough, isn't it? That is tough. I mean, his, his second serve was about the same speed as this guy's first serve. So uh, good stuff. Well done, Shawnee. He has reached the third round. In the end, it's been quite a long one, but Gallo has gone through. Well, wow, I didn't see that one coming. The Italian Gallo. And un at the bottom here, Tarry is coming. We've played him before a few times, the Frenchman. Um, so... I mean, could there be a route here to the last 16, which would be excellent if we could. I'm not going to play it today because we're on 18 minutes. It would just, um, I think it would take too long. So we will be playing that next time round. But I mean, I'm not, I mean, we, success, success, <laughs> winning games. Who knew? And, uh, what's that all about? So we'll be playing Gallo next time. I think that will be fun. And Whoever the winner of Tarry versus France is, you'd expect it to probably be the the guy from the USA. But who the heck knows? Who the heck knows? It could be anybody. And then we'll likely be playing the winner of this, um, which will be probably Silvich in the quarterfinals, which is probably where our tournament ends because that guy... We, we have yet to beat him. We've played him so many times and yet to even take a set on for him, I think. So, uh, yeah, that will be fun. Anyway, folks, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.